What's up everybody, this is Post Production Pie with SRLounge.com. It's been a little while since we posted an Ordinary to Extraordinary edit, and so I thought it was about due time, particularly when I came across this image in my catalog. Now in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys some basic dodge and burning techniques that we can be using to essentially balance out images like this. If you are a wedding or event photographer, this is one of those scenes that we're gonna commonly run into. And essentially the issue that we have in this scene is we have some very strong highlights over here on this uh, cake and we have some strong highlights in the background, but overall we have a very dark scene. And our goal here is to try and balance everything out just a little bit more so we can kind of reveal the detail. The problem in this kind of scene is if we were to say use flash or to use something else, it's gonna really alter the light. We end up washing out all the ambient light. We can use things like say a GL1 or a another light painting device to kind of add light in, but in this situation, it really didn't balance with the light that we had existing because it's a very white light that we had in the scene to begin with. So what we're gonna do is basically show you how to shoot and then how to, well, we'll show you, we'll talk about how to shoot it. And then uh, we're gonna go through and show you how to basically produce this to kind of bring out all the detail. So let's go over how this image was shot. It was captured on a 5D Mark III. It was on a uh, tripod because you can see that the shutter speed is at half a second. So we have it on a tripod for a long exposure at F14 to really max detail to widen the depth of field so we get this background area pretty sharp it's not super sharp but it's uh it's at least in we can see the detail in it it was shot at ISO 200 again we want to keep the ISO low as possible so we can maximize detail now because this uh, cake was kind of on this hanging little uh, spindle thing I didn't want to shut slow the shutter too much because if it moved a little bit we'd get a blurry image. So we have it at a half a second, which I felt comfortable with. We zoomed in at 70 millimeters or close to that on a 2470 F28L Mark II. And uh, we did that, we basically zoomed in just to pull the background forward or to compress the background just a bit more. Now, the other thing that's worth mentioning as far as how it was shot is to look over the, the histogram. Now, if we look at the histogram, we can see that we really don't have any highlights blown and we don't have hardly any. Well, we have a tiny bit, but not too much of our shadows clipped. So we're shooting in a way that we can maximize the detail in the scene so we don't have anything blown or clipped so we have the detail there to work with all right we're going to be using the uh, sr lounge lightroom preset system to do the editing but i will walk through everything as we go just so those that don't have the preset system can of course benefit as well let's go ahead and get started what i'm going to do is first whenever we're doing detail shots we generally work in the base vivid category because these are well they're designed to give you a more vivid look and typically i'll start with the vivid import and then we'll just see if we want to adjust from there I kind of want to bring out a little bit of my blacks a bit more, which means that I need to go to maybe a medium HDR. This is going to lift out some of the black tones. I can go to heavy and see if it is a little bit better, but I think I get a little bit too kind of crazy tones in the heavy. So let's stick with maybe just a medium, kind of keep it a little bit more natural. And already we have a big improvement. We've done just this one preset has actually balanced out quite a bit of the highlights. We've pulled the highlights and the whites down by negative 50 each. We brought the shadows up and the blacks up by plus 50 each as well. It's also added a bit of contrast, some clarity, vibrance, saturation, and uh, really all we need to do now is basically do some tweaking, and then we're going to uh, essentially use brushes to get our dodge and burn effect. So what I'll do real quick is go ahead and get a white balance. I'm gonna hit W just to bring up my white balance selector, and let's go ahead and drop it right over this cake here because the cake was, I believe, white, and it is, but we get a little bit too neutral on that. So I'm just going to warm it up a little bit. It just gives me a good idea of where I'm at with my white balance. So I want to have a nice bit of warmth to it, but I don't want so much that it kind of makes everything that yellow tinge or yellow tone. The other thing I'm going to do, so we're going to keep it at 2900 and plus 8 for our tint. Um, actually, let's see if we want to raise the tint maybe a tiny bit. I'll raise the tint one step and then we'll raise the uh, temperature one step too because I'm noticing a little bit more greens in the background than I typically would want to have. Okay, so this is fine right here, but what we notice is that the background is still a bit too dark, but the cake is still too bright. So what I'm actually going to do is actually, you know, before that, let's go ahead and set our crop. I'm going to hit R just to bring up my cropping tool. I'm going to set this to a crop that does not uh, bother me because because I don't want to see really the top of the room. I just want to see kind of the cake and just this left and right side. I'm even going to bring this in so we kind of see a little bit less over there and then pull this up a bit. Let's see. Let's go out just a tiny bit more. Okay, right about here is good. All right, that's much, much better. Okay, now what we're gonna do is basically raise the exposure. So I'm gonna bring the exposure up and I'm really looking more so at the background, okay? So I wanna bring it up until the background is a comfortable color or a comfortable brightness, basically. And right about here is where I would say I want the background to be, but obviously the cake is nearly blown, if not blown already. So what we need to do is burn down the cake. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually bring in, uh, we're gonna do a radial filter to bring the entire cake kind of down a little bit in exposure. Let's go ahead and select the radial filter in our uh, presets we have a negative 0.5 burn let's select this and then I'm just 
going to start from the center. We're going to pull it out. And then uh, I'm just going to bring it right over the cake. Now, right now it's reversed. So what I need to do is actually click invert. Okay, so with it inverted, it only affects just this area of the cake that we have selected. And then basically from here, we're just going to adjust our feather. So pulling the feather to the left is going to basically harden the feathered edge. If we go too far, we end up with this basically dark edge where it just starts. We don't want that. We want a very subtle graduation, but we want it to not really be noticeable. So right around 30 to 35 is really the range I want to go. I'm going to bring this in just a little bit on the top and on the bottom to kind of tighten it up. Okay, and then we're going to just move it up a little bit. So this does a great job of bringing down the cake overall, and we can essentially just adjust the exposure a little bit more until we get to a comfortable point. Now, I don't want to go too far because you have to remember that this is feathered along the edge of the background, and if we go too much, you're going to see the feather point where it basically starts to darken the background as well. So the rest of the dodging and burning that we're going to be doing is with brushes, but this gives us a good start just to uh, get kind of in the area that we need. Let's go ahead and select the brush now, and what we're going to do is go down to, well, let's start with actually some dodging. Let's go to a dodge. We're going to go to a point five brighten and now I'm just going to brighten up just some of our flowers here because I want to actually bring a little bit more light to these flowers and get them kind of a little bit brighter in the frame. I don't want them to be too bright because I, I think they're going to draw a little bit of the attention away from the cake and I still want the cake to be the brightest thing but at the same time I do want to be able to see just a little more detail in these in these flowers down here. Okay I'm also going to bring up a little bit in the uh, pink flowers that are going over the cake and we're going to kind of stop before we get to that super bright area where the uh, pinks are kind of blown. Now, if you notice this kind of stuff, this happens a lot when you're shooting in these kind of rooms, in ballrooms or reception halls. You'll notice that these very vivid colors, your pinks, your reds, they tend to get this kind of, I don't know how to describe it, other than just to say that the colors are basically blown, okay? So we're losing detail because we have too much pink. We have too bright of these tones. So what we're going to do to fix that is basically darken it down. So let's go ahead and just make sure that we've added back all the color or add back all the uh, brightening we want. I'm going to add back a little bit over here. A little bit out here and I'm just going to hold down alt or option on a Mac and we're just going to feather it off of the edges over here. Okay, so we're not affecting anything in the background. That looks pretty solid. Let's go ahead and hit new now and this time we're going to go to a burn. So let's go to a half stop burn and then all we're going to do is just burn down to kind of balance out these little flowers. And you notice that as soon as we burn it down, that detail comes back. Okay, so the detail that we kind of lost comes back into the flowers. All right, we're going to remove it again off the sides of the cake. You'll notice that also as we do these little steps and tricks, we kind of get a better idea too of where we want the final exposure, where we want the final temperature and so forth of the image. And I think right now I might be revealing a little bit too much green in the image, so I might just bump it up a tiny, tiny bit. We're going to go up to maybe plus 18 and bring it up to about 3100 for our temperature. That's a pretty good adjustment right there. Have a bit of warmth to it, but not as much green and necessarily the uh, cake area and so forth. Okay, so this is looking pretty solid. What I can also do is select that exposure brush, the one that we painted over to drop this down. We can actually go right over here and just bring the exposure down a little bit more until it blends a little better. And I think right around here it starts to blend a little bit nicer, about 0.6 negative. Okay, I'm going to bring it off this area that doesn't need to be darkened. Kind of just paint in, just refine the mask a little bit that we're kind of adjusting in. This looks pretty solid. It looks a lot better, and we balanced out a, uh, at least these flowers. We've done a pretty good job of balancing those out. Now what we're going to do is do some background work. Okay, So what I want in this image is I really want to bring the attention away from just the areas of the image that I don't think are that impressive. And what we want to focus on is the highlights. We want to focus on the lighting and all the things that make this scene look awesome. So let's go ahead and hit New again. And what we're going to do is uh, let's select that same burn brush. This time we're going to work around the outside of the image. And what you'll notice, I'm just kind of following the concept contours of the natural lighting in the image. So where there are shadows, I'm painting in darker shadows. And we're just going to go through and do the same thing. You know, we do the exact same thing when you're like doing retouch work on a model. You're kind of following contours of shadows and stuff on the skin to kind of reveal a little more shape in the face. We're doing the same thing. We're just doing it with a background here. So the same techniques really apply to lots of different things. I'm going to go down here, paint right across the front. I'm going to kind of focus on the dance floor a little bit, leaving this area where the writing is kind of, uh, leave it just kind of a little bit brighter right there. And again, just kind of work it off these flowers. I'm going to just kind of tighten that up a little bit. I'm saying kind of a lot. All right. That's looking pretty solid. I'm going to go up along the right side. Okay. Whoops. I covered the flowers a little bit too much. Okay. Make sure we cover this area. 
this is looking pretty solid. And we're gonna do one more layer. We can choose to kind of darken or brighten that up, but what I like to do typically is add one more layer of this. So I'm gonna hit new, and then we're just gonna go over the areas that I want really kind of more dark. So towards the edge of the frame, I want it to be quite dark. I want it to be, whoops, accidentally extended my working panel. That's all right. I'm also rendering stuff right now, so if it's running a little bit slower than normal, that is why. So I'm just kind of darkening the area of the frame that I really want to take attention away from, kind of bring it in. And we can always adjust this in just a moment. Okay, so I'm going to bring it down also right here, up, edge of the frame I want kind of out. All right, and we'll just pull this back a tiny bit. If there's any areas like over here in the corner we want to be like quite a bit darker, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. We can just again add another layer and then uh, just bring down the exposure, particularly in that little spot right there. Okay, so I think we've done a pretty good job of getting the exact tones kind of where we want. And let's take a look now at what we have here. So let's go ahead and hit the backslash key. Well, this is where we basically started once it updates the preview, and this is where we're ending up. So you can see we've done a really nice job of kind of balancing out these tones. And if we want to, we can also pull down just a tiny bit of the cake. And if you did that, you do it in the exact same way. So we're just gonna grab this little burn. We're gonna shrink it down just with the mouse wheel. And I'm just gonna bring it over the cake itself. We can kind of get just a tiny bit of the detail back because it looked a tiny bit on the bright side. I don't wanna go by a negative 0.5 burn, but I'll uh, paint this in and then we'll just adjust to get it out, out just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Let's bring it down right there. I'm maybe going to go back to say negative 0.2 or maybe 0.1 even. Right about there is actually good. Negative 0.2 is pretty nice. All right, now we can kind of tweak overall exposure. We can make any final adjustments if we need to. We can also add in, you know, if you want to, you can go and add in, say, a uh, another brush just for nature and color, which will kind of give a little bit of extra pop to these flowers right down here. So I might do that. Just add in a little bit extra pop. The ones that are on top of the cake are already very, very saturated. I'm just trying to burn or just trying to uh, add a little bit of detail to these other ones. And I might even brighten them up just a bit because they look a little bit on the dark side. Not like Star Wars dark side, but like brightness dark side. I'm also going to back off a tiny bit of the contrast and the saturation. Okay, so this looks really nice right here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our final before image. This was that before. This is our final after image. I'm just hitting backslash to toggle between the two. Okay, so you can see here with just a little bit of time, we can actually fix these kind of scenes so long as they're shot appropriately. We need to make sure that with our histogram, we have the majority of the detail there. Otherwise, you're trying to recover areas of shadow or areas of highlights that have been already blown out or already clipped, and they're not there. The detail isn't there anymore. But if the detail is there with a little bit of dodging and burning and a little bit of care, we can get to a nice final image. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.